see see how he's doing. What's up, Ed? How you doing, man? How you doing, buddy? Good. Have you ever done one of these Instagram crazy live interviews? No. No. <laughs> okay. I was, I was, I was going to text you this morning and say, hey, uh, go easy on me because uh, I'm, I'm a rookie at this. But uh, it's, all, it's all good, man. Having fun. Um, thank you so yeah. much for taking the time to do it today. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just jump right in. Um, yeah. Had a long career. I checked out a lot of your stuff. You've been in some cool. amazing bands, Alkaline Trio, thank Michael you. Michael Romance and all that. Um, yeah, yeah. How, how has it been being a professional drummer? What's some of the highlights you've had in your career? That's a great question. Uh, well, probably I would I would credit MCR to being one of the big highlights. Um, right. About t about ten years ago, I kind of jumped into a situation where um, I hardly had any prep, and I and you know the last drummer was sent home, and I just jumped right into like basically an arena show. Uh, <laughs> and I I, re I remember it's pretty nerve wracking, but uh, very exciting at the same time. So that's one and. Uh, in recent years, I had a really good time um, uh, jumping in with my friend Matt Skiba with Alkaline Trio. He's he's uh, yeah. he's been a he's been a good dude, and uh, I've worked on some of his records. So I would say those two things. Um, recorded with a guy named uh, Carl Barat, who uh, plays for a band called the Libertines. That's super cool. Made a record with him. Uh, so yeah, some of those things. Meeting yeah. John Craviato, he was one of my. Um, drum builder heroes as a, as a teenager and I got to to play some of his drums and, and develop a great relationship with him before he passed away yeah so, you, I remember you with Craviato they make they yeah, yeah. amazing stuff yeah it's fun yeah what's um what's some of your influences you had growing up like how'd you get into drumming everyone always wants to know like what was your moment where you're like I want to be a drummer how'd that happen okay so I was like a super ADD kid like I I uh <laughs> I would cut up in class and like get sent out in the hall and you know I was that kid but super artistic and I I explored guitar I tried piano neither one of those stuck um but I had an uncle who lived in Houston Texas and he had an old Rogers drum set uh, I feel like it was like a big R uh, badge um black 12 13 16 and at the time uh I remember not being able to reach the pedals but I was super fascinated with it right and I knew right then and there that, like, that was going to be my instrument. I was going to tackle it, even if I sucked, but I was going to make that uh, my instrument. Um, so some of my influences uh, at an early age, um, I, my dad took me to see a Motley Crue on the Dr. Feelgood tour. Yes. And, I, <laughs> and I remember uh, Tommy Lee jumping out of the, um, that, like, drum set concoction on the train track of the ceiling. I lived in jackson mississippi at the time and i remember <laughs> him jumping out in like a speedo that was like bedazzled with like whatever <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know uh, on the bungee cord and that, that kind of blew my mind uh, and that so i remember when when tommy moved from pearl it was either pearl or sonar i think it was pearl to dw and getting the whole exposure that dw was like this the next big thing uh in i don't know 89 or something like that yeah so it's he was an influence um at seeing Nirvana um, on oh, the yeah. in, on the In Utero tour, that was that was crazy. Um, and then you know you could probably relate with uh, with me on this one. Seeing uh, Metallica on the Black Album tour, yeah, seeing yeah, that was my influence right there. I went to the show. Yeah, and I yeah. Like, I want to do that. Like I was. It's weird how you're drawn to drums. It's yeah. almost like you're not sure why, but that's the instrument. You know what I mean? So, dude, totally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what um, yeah. advice do you have for young drummers coming up? I, um, we get a lot of young drummers, like 8 to 15. What could you say to them to kind of help them kind of go over the edge, maybe? Go over the edge. I would say uh, try to stay humble. Try to soak in as, as much as you can. Like, don't be glued or have tunnel vision just to one genre. Yeah. Um, be you know open-minded try to uh play and collaborate with different musicians so it kind of makes you more well-rounded uh so that you can show up and you're not just like a one-trick pony because i know for me uh i felt kind of pigeonholed getting really involved in, in punk rock and hardcore bands and and i had to force myself to get out and, and play with some other people and and recently it's been it's been a joy um playing with my friend meg myers uh because it's a complete sort of 360 from MCR, but but I'm also allowed to play like really uh, 
really like heavy but dynamic at times you know what i mean yeah, um, I, I also i also wish that when i was younger i would have uh taken a dive into pro tools and I, I would suggest for for younger drummers to just learn recording learn how to like capture yourself um because that's going to be how you're going to represent yourself like sonically you know on digital platforms it's so crazy because with the digital age, it's so easy to get your stuff out there, but then there's so much stuff too. So you kind of got to stand out a little bit. You know what I mean? Totally. So, yeah. It's yeah. Um, so what's going on? What's the latest project? What's going on with MCR? What's happening there? Okay. Uh, so MCR, like most bands, um, you know, probably this year, uh, the stuff that we were going to do um, in Europe and the UK, that, that's, that's getting bumped to, to next year. Right. Um, just like most people, I'm waiting to see what the fall is going to look like. I mean, safe to say it, that probably will be announced next year, you know. Um, right. But but right now, I'm actually out in Riverside. I'm with uh, two guys. We're we're staying six feet apart, so please don't judge, you know. No, but I'm in a place. <laughs> I'm in a place called World Class Audio. It's it's uh, it's a studio um, built and run by my good friend. His name is Sean Sullivan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip this around so you can kind of see it. So this is my kit. You sold me this, okay? And I'm, I'm really fired up on this. So I'm giving you, I'm giving you props. Thank you, sir. Thank All right. You. All right. So let me know if you can, you can see it right here, okay? Yeah. So yeah, here we yeah. have – all right. Uh, Gretch sent me this hardware to kind of complement the kit, but I'm really fired up on this right here. <laughs> this is a, a six-and-a-half phosphor bronze five-millimeter drum. Super sick. Very good. Um, nice. <laughs> I've been uh I've been playing these Istanbul Agops for uh, since about 2004. Really really love everything Agop does. Aren't they amazing uh, symbols? What's that? Aren't they amazing symbols? I I love them. I love yeah. them. Um yeah, these are these are the exist. Uh 24 exist, 22 power crash, uh 22 exist uh power crash, uh 15 inch uh power hats. I play um I play kind of a, a stick that's bigger than, than I should be playing. It's a Vic Firth rock. So I kind of request the heavier cymbals just to accommodate, you know, some of the bashing. Right. right. <laughs> uh, but here's a kit. Uh, uh, 10 by 12, 14 by 15, 16 by 18, 16 by 24. And check this out. So I've been using this uh, company called um, Genuine Percussion. This is a walnut beater and a little leather patch here. Nice. Uh, su super cool stuff. Uh, it's genuine percussion uh, on uh, Instagram, and here's a stick bag right here. That's nice, man. That's a that's a great yeah. setup, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So yeah, this is a uh, this is a this is the room where I'm in right now, tracking uh, for a band called Necessary Noise. Yeah. That's sick. Um, well, I appreciate it. you. Want to do a little lightning round with me? A couple quick fire questions. Sure. Why the hell not? All right, man. Taco or burrito? Burrito. Yeah. Single or double pedal? I got to say single, man. I know, right? Um, yeah. Favorite song to play live with MCR? Uh, I know. I really like Not Okay. I know it's it's uh, an older one, but I really like Not Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. And then one show to see three of your favorite bands ever, live or dead. Who would those three bands be? Oh man, I would I love to see. <laughs> I would love to see Minor Threat. Uh, that would be pretty awesome. Um, I'd love to see Nirvana again, uh, and I'd probably, as most drummers who love rock and roll, I'd I'd love to go back in time to see uh, Led Zeppelin. Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be a sick show, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, well, Jared, I appreciate the time. Thank you so much today, dude. Let's hang soon. All right. Yeah, how was that? Not too bad, right? Not too bad? Uh, it, was, it was great. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> All right, man. See you soon. Thank All you right, so much, care, sir. Dude. Yeah, no problem. All take right, care. Bye.